Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about my experience owning a vending machine, buying the vending machine, and things I kind of wish that I had done differently in getting this vending machine. I'm super excited to talk about this. I've been wanting to make a video on this for a while. It has definitely been an interesting experience and something that I'm really glad that I actually ended up doing. But before we get into the video, as always, make sure to go down and hit that like button. And if this video adds any value to your life at all, make sure to subscribe. I do make new videos as often as I can. All right, let's jump right into the video. So guys, the first thing that I do want to talk about is how I came to actually acquire my vending machine, kind of how to buy one, as well as how much mine actually costed and the different little details in buying one and transporting it and getting it to my location. I'll show you guys a picture of it right here real quick. That's the first one I ever bought. I actually bought it on Facebook Marketplace and it was about $2,000. It's a huge vending machine and it has a card reader, accepts cash. You can actually buy a new vending machine or a used vending machine. One thing that they don't tell you when you're buying a vending machine is these machines are so heavy. It's probably easily a thousand pounds. Me and my brother tried to move it. It took like four or five grown really buff guys just to get it from the dolly onto the truck it's insanely heavy and if I had known how difficult it was gonna be to get it transported to my location I would have done it a different way which I'll talk about a little bit later in this video once I got the vending machine I had to make an LLC I just made it my last name so GRI vending I had to set up a business bank account especially since it does have a card reader so all those transactions have to go into my business bank account for taxation purposes so when I went to go pick it up, I actually went down with a U-Haul truck to get it because it was just so massive. Most trucks couldn't fit it in the back. This was obviously pretty expensive. It was like 500 bucks there and back. Okay guys, so that's kind of my journey on how I actually got the vending machine. The second thing that I want to talk about guys is getting a location because this is one of the most important things about having a vending machine business. I got lucky in the location that I was able to get because they drink energy drinks a ton. It's at an auto body shop and they're always drinking drinks for my machine. Finding a location is probably one of the hardest things about owning a vending machine. When I first bought the machine, I made a huge mistake of buying it and then trying to look for a location. 100% guys, make sure that you have your location before you buy it. It took me a solid month of really grinding trying to find a location just to find one. Any place you could think of that could have a vending machine, I would go in and ask. A lot of times they would just say no. Finally, I got lucky. It was just a small auto body shop. Uh, he was also a business owner himself, so he was like, you know what, yeah, sure, bring it in. And he didn't want any of the profits, he just wanted to help me out, which was super great. My pitch was, I'm just a college student, I'm just trying to start a small business, wondering if you guys could benefit from a drink machine. I also would offer 10% of all the profits that I got for the electricity that I was using. This is pretty common, I feel like, and I would definitely recommend offering it like around 10% of the profits or whatever you think is fair. I just got lucky that this guy was like, nope, just put it in here, you're good, I don't need any of the profits. So I actually didn't know this when I bought my machine, but what you can do is if you already have a previous location before you buy the machine, then you can just have the machine shipped right to that location so you don't have to go through all the hassle of buying the U-Haul, carrying it yourself. These guys are professionals, they have the equipment to lift this heavy machine and they'll actually put it where you want it to be, set it up for you. It's really helpful, really convenient, and I wish someone had told me that before I bought this. So make sure that you pick your location and find a location before you actually spend money on that machine. Okay guys, so the third thing that I wanna talk about the big question is how much money do I make? So this is such an interesting question and I've learned through the last year and a half of being a vending machine business owner. It literally just depends on your location and the prices that you wanna put your drinks or your snacks at. I actually make a pretty good amount every single month because I have my drinks priced where I'm gonna make a pretty decent profit from every drink that I sell. But some people might not have that. Some people might just wanna make a little bit on the side. So I've seen vending machines where the same drink that I sell, it's really only priced 25 cents over what you can go get it at Walmart. So it really just depends on what you want to do. Also, like I said before, it really depends on the location of your machine. If your location just doesn't have a ton of traffic, and you just don't have a lot of people buying stuff from your machine, then your profits are going to be way low. But like me, where I have people always buying stuff from my machine every single day, my profits are a little bit higher just because I sell such a higher volume. So my answer to how much money does a vending machine owner make is it really just depends. It can be $100 a month to $500 a month, but there is no one size fits all for how much money that you're projected to make. Just make sure to do your research guys, make sure that the drinks or the snacks you're gonna put in the machine can be sold for a big enough profit. And really you make the money when you buy the product, not when you sell it. So really try to buy on deals. If there's a deal, stock up on that product. Also make sure that the things that are gonna sell and if they're not selling, replace them as quick as you can. Okay guys, so the fourth and last thing that I wanna talk about 
is what I wish that I had done differently when buying this vending machine and what I wish someone had told me. First of all, like I said, they're extremely, extremely heavy. I regret buying that U-Haul for $500 for just one trip there and back to literally break my back with four other dudes just to get this machine up on this truck when it would have been so much easier just to have it delivered to my location and have those guys do it professionally. The next thing that I wish that I had done differently, guys, is make sure to track every single transaction. Every time you go, take inventory and count your money and make sure it matches up. For about the first three months, there was these yellow Red Bulls that I was selling, and I was actually losing money all three months on these yellow Red Bulls because the, the little slot was broken, so every time you'd buy one, two would come out. I had no idea. I thought they just loved yellow Red Bulls, so I was stacking them up. I'd go there even once a week just to fill them up again. Little did I know, they're out here getting a great deal on these Red Bulls. Finally, one of the employees told me that my machine was broken, and once I realized that, I just bought a part. It was really cheap, really easy to fix it and my profits went up a ton. I have no idea how much money I lost in those three months of just buying yellow Red Bulls. I wish that I had been keeping track of my inventory as well as my finances from the beginning so I could have caught this right away. Another thing that I wish guys that someone had told me is this is not a business that you're gonna get super rich from. This is not a business that you can probably replace your full-time income from unless you have like 50 machines. So if that is your goal, I don't know if the vending machine business is gonna be right for you, but it is a great avenue to make a few hundred extra bucks a month for really very minimal work. I have all my drinks ordered from Amazon straight to my house. I have Amazon Prime, which makes the shipping basically free. So realistically, all I do is just take those drinks and I go fill up my vending machine. It takes me like 30 minutes and that's it. So it's a few hundred extra dollars a month, depending on the month for just a few hours of my time, which is definitely worth it to me, but it's not something that I can live off of. It's definitely not something to replace my income. I think it's a great starter business to kind of learn how business works. At the same time, teaching you some valuable lessons without it hitting you super hard financially when you make those mistakes. All right guys, so that was my experience buying and owning a vending machine. As always, if that video was helpful to you at all, make sure to go down and hit that like button. And if it added any value to your life at all, make sure to subscribe. I do make new videos as often as I can. I'll see you guys next week.